The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology says the magnitude 7.6 earthquake that occurred offshore of eastern Samar at 8.47 p.m. on August 31 is a subduction earthquake. When continental and ocean plates collide, the seafloor is pushed deeper. This particularly occurred beneath the Philippine Trench, which has a length of approximately 1,320 kilometers and a width of about 30 kilometers from the center of Luzon, extending southeast to the northern Maluku Island of Halmahera in Indonesia. Seismologist Mylene Enriquez says earthquakes like this have an effect on the topography of the country. Iba-ibang areas, merong certain na centimeter na movements yan. So, yung iba, 0 0.01 centimeter per year, 0 0.2, uh, nagmumove yan. Hindi lang natin nararamdaman kasi very, ano lang siya, maliit lang siya yung movements niya. So, pag uh, tumagal ang panahon, matagal, uh, 100 years or so, uh, posibleng mag-move o kung saan mapunta yung iba-ibang mga islands natin. Enrique says a subduction quake is one of the most powerful type of earthquake that may occur. However, Friday's quake did not generate as much force since the quake's depth is about 45 kilometers. Uh, may kalakihan siya, magnitude 7.6, pero may kalaliman siya, ng uh, depth niya is 45 kilometers. So, kaya yung tsunami niya uh, medyo... Mababa kasi medyo may kalaliman nga yung event. Maswerte nga lang at may kalaliman siya. Kaya hindi siya ganun ka yung kalaki yung damage na naranasan doon sa area. This is why the Tsunami Alert Level 3 recommending evacuation was lifted at around 12.10 on September 1 after FIVOX issued it on August 31 at around 9 p.m. Enriquez, however, says even though the quake in eastern Samar did not generate as much force as expected, it was felt as far as in Mindanao. Intensity 7 was felt in Samar, while Intensity 2 was felt in Mindanao. It will be a different story, though, if the epicenter of the 7.6 magnitude quake struck on land. Enriquez says if this happens on land, it can kill a lot of people. Me, medyo ba may kalakihan na yung damage niyan, yung road niyan medyo nabiyak na, tapos yung mga building may mga bumagsak na o may na, malalaki yung damage na nararanasan kung napunta siya sa, sa land. Uh, pagka malayo yung earthquake at malakas, ang mas, ma, mas nakakaramdam yung low, uh, high, high, high rise. The National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council says damage from this quake is at 12.8 million pesos and says the damages can still be considered minimal. Patricia De Leon, Solar News.